Hey there fellow travelers and windy town visitors. Mark here with Walters World. We're in Savannah, Georgia, the hostess city. One of my favorite places to visit here in the U.S. and Jocelyn's favorite town anywhere in the world. And today we have for you a little Q&A with some of our fans. And so what we're going to do is ask, answer a few questions that you, my, our fans have kind of set into us. So our first question comes from Charlie B., one of our fans here actually in Savannah. So Charlie, hey, don't forget to write to me so I can get you a t-shirt. And Charlie says, Mark, you know, it's February now, and we're feeling this. He said, Mark, it's February now, but my passport comes, it expires in October. They say to renew it now. Why should I do that? So basically this question is, when should I renew my passport? Now the thing is, if you're an adult, if you're over 18, your passport lasts for 10 years. If you're under 18 or 16, uh, your passport's only valid for five years. And so if you're gonna be get, you're gonna be traveling a lot, you see that, oh, there's only one year left or a few months left, you really need to apply for a, re a new passport. Um, I would say half a, at least a half a year beforehand. The reason is is some countries do not let you into the country unless your passport is valid for at least another six months. I know if you're going to go to China, they won't even give you a visa unless your your passport is valid six months after your return date. So think of it this way: the last six months of your the last six months of your passport really are invalid because a lot of countries won't let you come in with that. So that's why they're saying, hey, get this done now. Now, in terms of how much time it takes to renew a passport, what you do is when you renew your passport, you bring in your passport, your ID, you pay the fees, all these kind of things, and they usually say it takes between four and six weeks to renew a passport. Now, this really depends on the agency you're going through, i.e. which passport agency or passport office or post office you're going to for that. For example, we were in Illinois and we were getting our passport done, and it took about four weeks for normal processing to get it to us. Other friends of ours have done the express version and it gets to you in two weeks. Now the thing is, if you need a password quickly, that's when you're gonna be paying a little bit more for it. But in general, four to six weeks is what it takes to get your passport back to you. Now the reason why they say, hey, you have 10 months to your passports, you know, invalid, you should do it now, is one, like I said, you have to have six months extra time on that passport, but also, if it becomes really busy or there's a government shutdown or something like that, it can take a few months to get your passport, okay? So you want to be very careful with that. So if you see that your passport is going to expire next year, it's time to start getting those documents together and get that new passport, okay? I can't stress enough how much of a pain in the butt it is. If your passport expires, you got to redo everything. Oh, it's, it's not fun, okay? Now, if you're working abroad and your passport expires, you can go to your embassy and apply for a new passport and they can take care of that with all that information. But just know, if your passport's gonna expire within the next year, it's time to start getting a new one. So passports, there were 10 years, but only basically nine and a half of them you can actually use, okay? So Charlie, I hope that, I hope that answers your question. Now our second question comes from Michael Jordan. No, not the Michael Jordan, but Michael Jordan from Tennessee. And Michael Jordan asks us, Mark, is it okay to get drunk when you travel? Now I'll tell you this, I understand what Michael says, like look, is it okay for me to have some drinks when I am traveling? And I'll be honest with you, drinking while you're traveling is part of it. You know, I do drink wine when I go to France, and yes, I have had a few Chatham Artillery punches when I'm here in Savannah, but the thing is, when you are traveling, you need to be careful with alcohol, because especially, one, if you're traveling by yourself, you're much more vulnerable when you're drinking for pickpockets, for bag thieves, for the bad people that you hear about, like the taking kind of stuff. So you wanna be careful with that. Now, if you're going with buddies and they're watching out, you're all watching out for each other, yeah, you can have a few drinks and stuff like that. But one thing I will say, if you are gonna be drinking when you are abroad, be safe, okay? Because people are watching you, they're seeing you. And what happens is when people drink and stuff like that, they get louder, more boisterous, they make themselves a target and that's a bad thing. And another thing is, I know in the US we have pretty strict drinking laws um, in terms of you know getting drunk and driving and stuff like that. You know, there's some pretty strict laws. Other places around the world, it is much stricter. And if you think, oh, I just gotta spend one night in the clink here and I, and I, if I pay a $10,000 fine or $2,000 fine, I'll be fine. Well, other countries, you go to jail for a long time. So never, ever drink and drive no matter where you are. And if you're traveling, man, don't even think about it, okay? So Michael, yes, you can have a few drinks, it's okay, but make sure you are staying in control, so watch out for that. So those are two quick questions that we had from some of our fans that I thought I'd answer here in Savannah. If you have some questions about traveling, please put in the comment section below and we'll make some more videos like this, answer your questions when we travel around the world as well. So I wish you adieu or a goodbye from here in Savannah. Bye and have a nice drink, but drink responsibly when you travel. It's not just for driving anymore, it's for all the time, all right? Bye from Savannah. And if you come here at St. Patrick's Day, you'll be like, what? Drinking responsibly? You crazy Savannah people. Yes, they are. <laughs> Bye from Savannah.